Hello everybody, and welcome to Assassin's Creed Mirage. If you know me at all, it's probably not surprising to see this video. It was only a matter of time before I did this for Mirage and a lot of you were looking forward to it. So I figured why not get it out the way almost immediately. Um, I just gotta say, I've been really enjoying this game and thank you so much for the support on uh, that sort of first impressions kind of light review video I made for it. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying the game as well. Apologies if my voice sounds a little, uh, little off. I'm a bit tired. I'm a little sleep deprived from playing this game so much, actually. I've just been, uh, kind of playing almost all day for the past few days. But we're going to start a new save here for this video. And we're just going to see how far we can get into the game without dying. This video could be very long. It could be very short. I have no idea. I've had some videos that are like 20 minutes long in the series and then others that are like three hours long. So it's very unpredictable in that way. All right. Three of y'all, yeah, that's fine. Now this game doesn't actually have nightmare difficulty like the others. Oh, and it's not even, okay. You choose your difficulty before you, you start the game. And this just so you know, this, guy, this is on hard. So that's the hardest you can choose. I told you it was lost. Well, I worried the wrong lesson would be learned. This is a different voice actor for Williams. The hidden ones, as we were known then, resisted. The little hints of Ezio's family. Striking there. at our enemy from the shadows. That's a really cool transition. Uh oh. <laughs> Guys, it's Ubisoft Quebec. No, I'm playing. I'm playing. Easy, Basil. Um, uh, the eagle you skulls. Would make more money selling water to a camel. They are liberators, Nihal, not merchants. I know the stories. Still, the price of liberty should be enough to feed us. Oh, uh, as I was saying, um. I think they recasted William's voice in Origins. It's not the same guy who was doing it in uh, the original games. That was that was the guy who was in Breaking Bad who did the original voice. So they changed it. God, this game is so beautiful. I said it, but like, man, these environments look so good. Oh wait, I'm supposed to follow her. My bad. Do you think yourself some hero of tomorrow, the next Gilgamesh? No. I am merely the son of a public servant who dedicated his life to the betterment of his people. Anyways, as I was saying, uh, Basim already feels very different. That's one of the things I noted about his character. And another little thing they go, uh... More in d a little added depth to him as well, like the whole thing with his father... ...gets brought up quite a lot. It's very interesting. And you see this kind of more, um... Hopeful, optimistic Basm at the start here, compared to where he is in Valhalla. It's like, it's very interesting, and I think it makes his uh, journey to where he gets to in Valhalla a bit mysterious. The pickpocketing in this game is pretty simple, but actually, it's really fun for me. It's just like super quick, satisfying. I like it. Not anything too complex, but. I mean, it was pickpocketing was even more simple in the original games. So you didn't have to do a mini game By for it. So. Easy. You truly All right, let's go. Master thief of Anvar. Is that jealousy I hear? <laughs> Nihal's an interesting character for sure too. And you know, I think it seems like Bordeaux actually made Basm's parkour even faster. Like over time, I think they heard some of the complaints of it looking too slow in the gameplay demo because it definitely looks faster and that's just like that's a perfect example of why i think bordeaux has, how'd you get here what did you teleport no sorry kid i'm just gonna be doing main story stuff for this video uh keep it focused a shipping ledger at the harbor it is worth nothing by itself but the information it contains is valuable to them. Well, they should do it themselves then. This is They're child's hidden ones. play. Do they not have anything more difficult? Bring the ledger back here and do it swiftly. Shocking. All right. He is just a messenger. And you are still an errand boy. You can do this one on your own. Well, they're not going to pay you before you do the job. That's just like common sense. 
All right, let's go steal the ledger. This is uh, gonna be our first stealth mission. Oh wait, can I pickpocket? Yes, sir. Oh, sorry, <laughs> that was an accident. My bad. Keep whatever catches our eyes. Dump the rest. Oh. Wait here. Crouch. Nice. I really like the cover assassinations in this game. I, I like how they work. Basm, let me explain. It works for like when you're pulling the guard out, if you're exposed while you're doing it, they can see you. But once you're back in the cover, guards can't see you. Which is a bit different from how it worked in the RPG games, I believe, where it was just you were always hidden. I love that they changed this to a roll as well. Nice. Take a nap. I love that they changed this to a roll only. It feels so much quicker. All right, I have to get the key before I can go in here. I remember this. This is all still fresh in my mind since I just played a couple days ago. This part. A minor delay. Oh, I did not see that guy there. I also love this version of Eagle Vision. It's so good. Very useful, especially when you get it upgraded and you can like, at one point you can just crouch and it'll automatically highlight enemies that are near you with it. All right, we're gonna go above. Is there another way I can get in here? Right, I'm gonna whistle this guy over here. I'll just do a haystack. Nice. Alright, now we can get him. Make sure there's no one else. Yep. Okay. And nice and easy. Also, another little thing I like, there's actually a unbarring animation for the doors where he takes the like plank of wood off in Valhalla you just had to hit it with your weapon and it looked weird so I actually like it's a such a small thing and probably weird of me to point out but like I like that they added in animation for that I think that's just good attention to detail lock the door all this loot I wonder right. what seek and we out this introduction period before you become a hidden one is pretty lengthy but like i said i think that works well here it makes when you become a hidden one feel earned it feels more gradual i really like it it reminds me kind of of unity but it doesn't skip over the training as much so i'll see what i can do hello roshan she looks important you should haggle for a better fish without a fuss Give it here. You are one of them. What gave that away? It looks as though it was delivered this morning. You're certain. God, her voice is so see. cool. I am certain. Hey, the boy. You need something stolen? I am your man. Durwish can attest. He has given me all your contracts. Then you have done your part. I can do more. Two of my best men died in this pursuit. I doubt a street thief would fare much better. Then let me join But I'm you. the main you character. Have <laughs> you have two openings. <laughs> Dang. Listen here, Basim. You want to keep working for me? You keep your head down and your mouth shut. Why keep pushing yourself down this path? Because being a street thief is not the peak of my ambition. Fair enough. I have more to offer this world than my nimble fingers. They just cannot see it yet. Almost, <gasps> Jessup. What is this? Aha! Uh -huh. This is my latest creation. <laughs> Did this kid invent the slingshot or something? Because Basm acted what like he hasn't doing? seen one before. Did slingshots exist back then? I have no they idea. They want that chest, and I am going to get it for them. Then they will see. All right. Let's go. That is if you can bear to follow my lead for a change. I know your feelings. Nihal, can you face me when it you- It is utterly foolish. Face me when you talk to me, please. But it seems I cannot stop you. So I will come with. I don't know if that's a bug or if that's- She's supposed to, to be doing the that. Because she's all upset. From the Khalifa's Winter Palace. Sneak into the Winter Palace. And look for ways to infiltrate. So in my first playthrough, I followed her. Um, so I think this time I want to try and find another entrance and see what I- uh, it is dark enough. Come. See what I can do, but where even is the other entrance? I want to see if there's actually another way I can go. Or... 
You gotta be careful though, there's a lot of guards. I'd rather not die this early on. Wanna at least become a hidden one first. Okay. This is bad. Screw this, I'm just gonna follow in the hall. This is taking too long. Lead the way. Yes, please help me. I like Nihal's character as well. Let me knock this guy out real quick. Nice. It is better this way. Again, I just like how fast this roll is. It makes it really easy to move around. Okay. We have to get the key, right? Yeah. Oh. Alright, there's the guy with the key. They call me Master Assassin for a reason. Except I call myself that, really, but, you know. It's self-proclaimed, but it still counts. Oh my god, some Master Assassin I am. I did not think he was going to be right there. I can just pickpocket him. I don't even have to... Nice. Don't even have to take him out. Nice. Looks heavy. We'll never get it out of the palace. Then I will just have to love this music. What is inside? The order. Gentlemen, welcome. Everything is in order. Nice mass. I understand this means a great deal to you. Rest assured, it will be well protected here. We will accept nothing less. We will carry out our work and return to you when we are ready. Be prepared, Khalifa. That guy has a cool voice. Uh, might I see it once? The contents. If we are to guard this with our lives, we should know... <laughs> you saw nothing of this. You say nothing. Do you understand? Uh, yes, of course. Perish the idea. All right, Basim. Open. Snatch. Run. Basim, hurry. <laughs> Basim! Oh. <laughs> It's cool. Give me that. No. 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 Oh. This is your fault. Stop. Please. You thieving little rat. Nihal. Uh oh. Let's get out of here. I mean. Nihal just saved his life, but... Oh, this looks so cool. Convenient zipline, let's go! Oh, the flamethrower guy. Vaulting animation. Yeah! Oh, okay. Basm's too fast. Nice. Oh my... There's more here, there's more here. Ah, the bells are ringing. Lost the water. Having the vaulting animations is so nice. Like, I didn't think it would make a huge difference, but it actually, it's made quite a difference in, in the parkour, I think. Please, what do you want from me? Come, come, Basim. Niha? Not quite. Uh, not really. Just wanted to help. We need to get you out of here. I have a boat at the Western Docks. They will not stop until they have found you. And when they do, it will not be a prison they throw you into. It will be a shallow grave. I'm giving you a second chance. Take it. Michal, Derwish, they are all in danger. Again, I didn't... I, I, I realized after I put that video up that I forgot to talk about the soundtrack. Um, 
which is ridiculous because I can't believe I forgot because I love this game's soundtrack. It is so good. I mean, Assassin's Creed usually always hits with the soundtracks, right? But like, I thought they did a really good job. Um, uh, what's the composer's name? I forgot his name, but he did a really good job at capturing the kind of vibe of the Middle East and blending it with Assassin's Creed. I thought it was really good. Can I? Okay. Luckily, you don't take much fall damage. That would have been a weird way for the video to end. Yeah, that is so dark, man. When I first saw that, I was like, wow. Nothing! If the Khalifa were alive, this would not have happened! Watch where you point your blamey little finger, Basim. It was your idea to steal from the palace. Also that you can impress your cunning friends. I saved us! You killed them! You did it this! It came from over there! I hope I never see you again. I was really so This is a dark opening. And, uh... I mean, Nihal, she saved your life, Basim. I don't know what you wanted her to do, but... I get it. He's not really upset with her. He's more so just deflecting the blame off of himself, because he knows it was his idea to begin with. But you can tell when it switches to a pre-rendered cutscene. Good enough. Good enough? Oh. The music! Let's go! I love how that guy just stands there waiting to be kicked. What are you doing? Sounds. Oh, awesome. That's a cool transition, too. I like how they did that. I imagine Roshan pulled him out of the water there when he was uh, falling. This area is so beautiful, too. Alamut looks great. A new day. I like the Another snow test. on the mountains. I should get back. We're making good progress here. I don't know why. I, for some reason, assumed that Roshan was the mentor of this brotherhood. But it turns out she's just the master. The mentor is uh, Rehan, who was actually mentioned in a note in Valhalla, I think. Go on, Basim. Like I didn't realize that, but... Yes, master. Pretty cool. Yeah. And he's wearing, like, those uh, black and red robes from Valhalla. Hey, Basim. Steady. Look at this view. No. Yes, master! I've seen enough. We will try again tomorrow. Focus you gotta go head easy. first, Basim. You can't go... Feet first. Of faith to perform it successfully, you must first center your mind, body, and spirit. Embrace the fear, quiet it, find a stillness, and let go. You hear, yes, master. You hear Ezio's family play yes, when she's explaining that. That's cool. I just love. I really like this training part. I love having all these hidden so. ones around us yeah. again. Man, this looks so good. Basim? Speak with Fulav and see if he needs help. Oh well, yeah, as I was saying, I just like having the training, being near all these hidden ones. It gives a vibe that I haven't really... Like, we haven't really had an experience similar to this since, like, the first game. Usually you don't get to see the training, or the, the brotherhoods you're in are, like, very limited in, like, fellow assassins and hidden ones. Or in, like, the case of Unity, it just completely skips through the training. So I like that... We actually get that in this game. Ah, Basim, how are you? Yes, Enkidu, food is coming. He is intelligent, and intelligence is supposed to rhyme with patience. Hmm. Reminds me of someone. What? Have you been speaking to? Can you fetch those from the storeroom? I shall, Fula. Well, do. The rebels supply us with information in Baghdad. Without them, we are blind. This guy has a deep voice. Be that as it may. See, he's got those uh, robes from that Roshan mission in Valhalla. I wonder if those robes are actually originally from Mirage. 
because this game was obviously well under development when that uh, mission came out in Valhalla. So I wonder if it was uh, from Mirage and then the Valhalla team just decided to put it in the game for that mission. That'd be interesting. Apparently, you've moved past the wooden swords. I protested, but Roshan insisted. Sweet. Here is your dagger. Oh, that was cool. And your sword. I am proud to have worked on them. I was not expecting new weapons today. Repay me by using it on the order. Make them feel the sharpness of its character. Oh, I will. Right. Said you had further training today. Shall I remind you how to use the knife? I already know how to use the throwing knives. I don't need to. Let's go back to training. I like that you actually have to grab on the handholds now. You can't just uh, climb like completely steep cliffs with no handholds anymore. It makes you have to carefully plan out. Or pay attention to where you're climbing anyways. Who put this corner swing here? <laughs> One of the hidden ones? Awesome. Time for combat training. I was surprised when Rebecca handed me this. I really like Roshan's it's robes. A sword, not a coarse weapon for oh, a hidden cool. one. As hidden ones, we must become proficient with a number of weapons. You never know how a fight will escalate. You know, I just had a cool thought. What if they made a DLC for this game where you could play as Roshan? That'd be really cool, actually. <laughs> Let me throw the throwing knife at her. It's different in this game. You hold our uh, right bumper for the heavy attack. But you can actually... What's nice, you can actually change all the... All the controls in this game freely. So if you want to have, like, the old scheme and, like, change attack to X or something like that, you can do that. You can literally change everything. I think that's really cool. I'm just used to the default controls, so I'm not going to change them right now, but... I think the parry timing is a little bit more challenging in this game as well, which I think is nice. Makes it more satisfying to pull off. I love using that combo. There's like several combos that the game doesn't tell you about. That you can uh, kind of figure out if you go, oh, I'm out of stamina. Okay. Like you do a light attack chain and then you do a heavy attack right after and you can get some big damage. Oh, clean transition. Oh. We are done for today, Basim. Why must we stop? I learned nothing from failing. That's just not true. You learn a lot from failing. Assalamu alaikum, Abu Jafar. It is Ahmed. Do not worry. That's just a running joke in the cave. Fulath, tell Basim the story of the feather. Our tradition of the feather comes from Egypt. They represent oh, trust me, I remember. <laughs> will anyone help me on patrol tonight? I will come with you. Let's go. May I speak Nor. to you in confidence? But I pity the people who attack this nest of eagles. Yeah, same. Are you looking forward to your initiation? Yes. It feels like I have been preparing my whole life for this. I could not sleep the night before. Fulav introduced me to an eagle named Enkidu. He said we have much in common, and not in a complimentary way. She sees something. Follow me. Oh. Can you imagine if Altair had an eagle? He'd be OP. Well, he's already OP, but... Dude didn't even take a scratch in AC1. Come on over here. Hey, you! Stop! You ain't seen nothing. Come on, I can throw a knife one and then kill the other. Like that. These guys are gonna see me. That's fine, let's do combat. I love those combat finishers. They're so clean. Not like the wooden targets, is it? It is not that. What of it? Oh, so were those Basm's first kills? Mercenaries from Baghdad use these weapons. We must warn the others. 
Do all Pretty mercenaries good, use the same sword? Well, I guess if there's like a blacksmith in Baghdad, then that makes that kind of sword. We will return to Baghdad. Seek Ali ibn Muhammad's help. Ah, oh, of course. Sahib is Zanj. He's a dangerous and delusional fool. Wafakak Allah. Wada'an. Araka lahiqan. And I said it in my video as well, but I like how they speak Arabic, even though obviously it's in English. They still use like certain phrases and stuff. I think that's really cool. Training montage. I like that you can see him get more confident with it too. Yeah. The music is fantastic again. Gotta love a good training montage. Plus the beard makes him seem a bit more mature. Let's go. It's a new basm. I believe it's time for initiation now, so... So, first time around I did kickback first because I wanted to get these skills. I wanted to get chain assassination as quickly as possible because that's very useful. I think this time I'll just go with auto collect though. Just a general useful skill to have. Makes things a bit easier. Alright, let's get our hidden blade. strange, Al Hassan. Here, Basa. You have earned this. Come. Your new robes. Away. Oh yeah. Woo. Ah, they suit you Boy. well. Come, it is time. I love the look of even just the initiation robes. How did you the feel outfits in this game so are so ago. good. And I like the distinction between blue for the uh, apprentices and red for the masters. I think that's really cool. This, this is one of this is still day. one of my favorite scenes courage. of the game. It has Roshan marked as a combat enemy. <laughs> Look. Basim Ibn Ishaq. Are you ready to leave your life behind and walk the path of shadows? Yes, I am. I am. Oh, this makes me feel like a little kid. Are you ready to give up who you once thought you were? I'm so excited. Ready to sacrifice everything you held close. I am. I am. Never forget the tenets you have sworn to uphold. Stay your blade from the flesh of the innocent. Yeah. Hide in plain sight. Yeah. Never compromise the brother. Yeah. Then, out of the dark. You will come into the light. I'm returned. And from the light, you will return to the dark. Doesn't make a ton of sense, but it sounds really cool. All right. Assassins, ladies and gentlemen, we are a hidden one. Hanetsio's family. Yeah. Basim ibn Ishaq, you now follow in the eagle's path. Yeah, that was so well done. Welcome I love that initiation scene. Now, fight me as your equal. All right. Well, you're still a master rank, so we're not really equals, but you're no match for me. Oh, that! How is that for focus? I don't 
You have trained me well, Roshan. No. If Ali is gone, we are blind. The Order has put a fog over Baghdad and their movements. We must go to Baghdad. Roshan, Basim, go with Fulev. Leave at once. Why don't you go yourself, mentor? I'm sorry, sir. I will go right away. It'd be cool if it actually let you equip a mask like that in customization. Alright, well, I've gotten to my goal. I've become a hidden one without dying. That's good. Let's see how far, how much farther we can uh, make it. Oh, so now, beautiful. Where does my heart take me? I feel like they changed how the mounts work as well, like the with the galloping and everything. It feels a lot better than it did in uh, the last couple games. I can't really explain it that well, but it definitely feels different. Like I said, I'm not going to do too much exploring or side content for this video. I just want to keep the focus on the main stuff. Plus, I've already done a lot of it in my first playthrough, so... And look at all those NPCs. Alright. We are here. Sights. Greetings once again, Beautiful Dr. city. Show me what I have missed. Looks so good. And I love the crowd density. So many NPCs. Again, like, not as much as, like, Unity, but Unity was, like, French Revolution Paris. That's kind of a different situation. There's still a lot in this game. Definitely way more than in any of the RPG games. Let me, uh, pickpocket this woman real quick. Thank you. I think the city alone is... Just the way the city's designed, the density, the parkour pathing, that alone has made... Just improve the overall experience by so much. Like, even if it, the game is a little bit more limited by Valhalla's engine or gameplay to a certain extent, the city alone that it's set in makes it feel so much better. So this is a Hidden One's Bureau. I expected some sort of hovel. Some bureaus Very AC1 are reminiscent. Others... However, Noor was in contact with someone named Beshi. Fulab and I will see what more we can uncover. Be careful. Yeah, and something else I really appreciate about Mirage, there's so many small details and like references to like the first Assassin's Creed. Like you can tell Ubisoft Bordeaux really cared about getting those details. Like even the way the bureaus look, very reminiscent. All right, so let's go to Beshi first. Yeah, even, even like this area looks very similar to AC1, the resting area. Bordeaux did not just phone it in. Like, you can tell they genuinely care. If Ubisoft doesn't give Bordeaux another Assassin's Creed game to develop after this, I, I will never forgive them. Bordeaux deserves to have the time to make a full Return to Roots game. I mean, with how much I enjoyed this game... Like, can you imagine what they could do if they had I need your eyes, my even more time and resources to make another style of game like this? It has to happen. Ubisoft. Like I said, if Ubisoft doesn't give them another game, I'll never forgive them because it just... Like, these developers, like, understand Assassin's Creed more than any team has in a long time. Have you a blade? Other than that butter knife you carry. And don't you hate on the you hidden blade? Fancy yourself something bigger just now. And you can see I have a sword and dagger too, so are what are you, you talking about? To find Ali? If you want to save your men, our approach should be a cautious one. I will go quietly. Have these men lie in wait and escort those we free. 
Your kind all think the same way. But it is a sound plan. Indeed. That's exactly right. Stealth above all else. Alright. So what I'm gonna do... We got a guard right here. I'm gonna pay the musician. Oh, I don't have a token. Never mind. I was gonna pay him to distract them, but... Kill them with this. Nice. Run next to him. Uh, open. Drop this on the nope. If there's, a, if I die in this game, it's, it'll probably be to combat. It's a problem at first. You don't have much throwing knife capacity until you get it upgraded. That is not what I meant to do. Oh, she saw me. Man, I'm already at notoriety level 2. Notoriety. The notoriety system is so good, though. Civilians can actually, like, run to guards and point you out and stuff. It's really cool. You have to be r careful not to... To make sure no one is seeing you when you kill people. Um, These guys aren't moving. I'm just going to try and sneak past. That is the last. Together, we will see the end of what ails this city. Look no further than Al Ghul. The man only Ra's spoken Ghul? of and What are you mm. thinking? Ali and Noor got close enough to El Ghul that he took notice. Here, take this. Token? The tokens are pretty easy to get too, especially if you do a lot of pickpocketing. Well, let's get this notoriety reduced, because that's going to make it hard to move around. Yeah, you can see people are yelling and pointing me out to guards. Alright, there's another wanted poster over here. Oh, pickpocket. Nice. You got a merchant favor token. Gosh, I love these robes so much. And the cloth physics are really good, too. You can even see, like, the little, uh... I don't know what they're called. Like, uh... You know, like, the little... Things by the hood. I don't know what they're called. But even those move when you move around. They definitely got cloth physics right in this game. Which, after they looked... Almost non-existent in Valhalla, that's really nice. Honestly, the parkour is fun. The parkour in this game is still fun to do. It's not super advanced. I wish, um, I definitely wish it had the side and back ejects similar to the old games, but... Oh, I remember who the contact is now, yeah. What's up, man? Asim? Azizi? I thought you were dead. Got a bit of a makeover. I the same. You are one of them now. How? A hidden one. Under Roshan's guidance. Aww. Oh, forgive me. This is all too much. He was taken to the Khurasan Gate guardhouse. But that was weeks ago. You even leave like they do. <laughs> How do they leave? It is good to see you again. O ominous like, I guess. Focused. Just watch yourself. Oh, of course, all the time. I could use your help. Uh, for a good cause, of course. Of course, yeah. This is the outpost Ali was taken to. Alright. Some more stealth, let's go. Hold on, I can do something cool here. Oh, what? I thought... He didn't see that. Okay. That works out, I guess. I was trying to headshot him, but uh, clearly I missed. Eavesdrop on the guards. Got it. Are you and the scribe ever going to play nicely together? And who will record the prisoners then? What? Well, you guys won't have to worry about it anymore because you're both dead. Ah, I'm out of throwing knives. You run out so quickly. Especially at first. Um, alright, let's go around. Assassinate him. Nice. Okay, 
down. If you can't see me, nice. Clean. Oh, I love this, man. I just love it being self-focused. That one looks like a scribe. This is just my kind of game. Oh, I need the key. That's right. Let me whistle. Get over here. Hey. Hey. I will hold on to that for you. Nice. Like I understand this is a game that probably won't be for everybody, but. As someone who got into this series for stealth, it is so nice to have a stealth-focused game like this. It's just right up my alley. Like, to me, there's nothing more satisfying than doing a clean stealth run like this. Nice. Keep calm. Back to the bureau. Man, if I'm gonna keep being this stealthy throughout the whole thing, this video might never end. <laughs> Probably jinxed it, but oh well. Wa alaikum assalam, Ahmed. How was your journey? I am Abu Jafar. <laughs> right. My apologies. If this list of captives is correct, Ali was sent to the Damascus Gate Prison. The Damascus Gate Prison is the most well-guarded prison in Baghdad. This will prove to be no small challenge, I can tell you. I will scout ahead. Meet me near the prison's front gate. A moment of your time before you go, Basim. I have some useful thoughts to share. Increase the capacity. Yes, please. That is going to be very useful. Extended range is good too, but this is definitely the best one for now. Eventually you get a skill where you can have select two on the first tier. But resource, capacity resource. is most important right now. We're not going to do any contracts for this. Again, I'm just going to focus on the main stuff for this video, but... I do really like the contracts. I've done like all the ones I could in my first playthrough. You could perhaps bribe the guards to look the other way, or enlist the help of some merchants. I shall see what flavor best suits me. I will take my leave and return to the bureau. Fakakallah. All right. Kind of a little black box style mission here. The first time around, I. Got the rebels help and had them distract the guards at the front over there so this time i'm gonna try and do it differently see just how different you can do these missions all right we're gonna use the merchant here this time i need to get into the prison unnoticed i thought perhaps you could let me pose as one of your aides hmm, possibly and in exchange i'll give you this token this token do you recognize it well, well. An attractive proposition indeed. Stay close to me. And what do they actually use these tokens for anyway? <laughs> oh, okay. Like I said, I didn't do it this way the first time around, so... I can actually go in a completely different way into the prison. That's awesome. Make way! Make way! <laughs> Hello. Please, give way. Move, please. Kadari. Don't mind me. I'm not armed or anything, I swear. I shall not trouble you further. Sweet. My thanks, Sadiki. Into the lion's den we go. That's actually so cool. All right. Please. Do some crowd blending here. Act as usual. I like that he tells them to act normal as well. He's just walking through these crowds. Well, that did not go as planned. I didn't think he was going to walk right in front of me like that. Adam. Some jailer that was. 
And you are? Basil, friend to New York. Let us save the details for another time. All right. Tell me, Basil. Seems like a very reasonable know. fellow. How did right, let's just make a run for it. There you go. Uh I have it! Take it to Roshan, my master. She is with your rebels at the water mill stronghold. I will slow the guards. Now go! What's up? Oh my god, alright, let's just run. You won't take me alive! Uh, jump. Oh god. Oh, way to catch the ledge! Real bad. The guards remain on high alert. Oh, Until nice. Until I change that, I should not oh, recruit boy. the valley. The risk I have is full great. notoriety. That means bounty hunter. And those those guys kill me every single time. I, they are so difficult to kill. I need to lose this notoriety quickly, or I am dead. If I can actually find. I can't find any wanted posters or anything. I At least we'll lose my Oh man. You know what? Bring it. I ain't afraid of you. Come on. Easy. Child's play. For a master assassin such as myself. Oh great, I got- I just got the notoriety back that I just lost. Uh, let's go bribe an official. I think we lose all of it when we do that. Or uh, a Munadi, as they're called. Nice. Oh god, he's right here. Do I try? Should I try and Oh my god. I'm not gonna have a choice. So quick! Hard to parry their attacks in the Jesus. This was a bad idea, wasn't it? God. I can't Dude, the attacks are so quick I can't parry them. I'm gonna parry. 